Hi, I'm Kinga from MyHobbiesCrochet.com. In this video, I will show you how to crochet graphs from corner to corner with the help double crochet box stitch, also called the mini C2C stitch. You will learn how to read a corner to corner graph, how to crochet the half double crochet C2C stitch, how to increase, how to decrease, how to perfectly change colors and more. I'm using Red Heart Super Saver yarn in various colors, a 5.5 mm crochet hook, yarn needle, scissors, for bobbins I'm using some plant clips and optional stitch markers. You will also need a graph. This is my rabbit C2C block, my latest design. You can find it linked below. Start reading the graph in the right bottom corner and work on the diagonal to top left. The first pixel in this graph will be the first row. From row 2 to row 25 on the diagonal you will work increase rows, you will increase each new row one box stitch, then you will start the decrease rows from row 26, you will decrease each row one box stitch until you get to one box stitch for the last row. The even rows will be worked from top to bottom on the right side and the uneven rows will be worked from bottom to top on the wrong side. This is very important when you will change the colors. In this graph the first color change happens in row 9, an uneven row, so you will work the color changes. You will start from the bottom to top and you will work this way. Now let's get started. I'm starting row 1, the first pixel in our graph. I'm using the half double crochet corner to corner stitch, so I will start with chain 5, 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. Now into the third chain from the hook work half double crochet, so 1, 2, 3, 1 half double crochet and 1 half double crochet in each of the next two chains. One and two. So this is row one, the first pixel in our graph. We have a chain two space and three half double crochet stitches. For row two, we have two box stitches in our graph. So we work an increase at the beginning of the row with chain five. One, two, three. 4 and 5 and again into the third chain from the hook work half double crochet and one half double crochet in each of the next two chains. And this is the first box stitch of second row. So to make the second box stitch of the second row, you will need to flip this one, the first box stitch of the first row. You will have the chain to space at the left. You will skip all these three half double crochet stitches and you will slip stitch into the chain to space. You will chain two and work three half double crochet into the same chain to space. One. Two and three. So for row two we have two box stitches, two pixels in our graph. Now for row three you will work an increase again and you will have three box stitches. So increase with chain five, one, two, three, four and five. Work half double crochet into the third chain from the hook and one half double crochet in each of the next two chains. Now flip this piece to work into the chain two spaces at the left of the box stitches. So skip all these three half double crochets and work only into the chain two space, a slip stitch then chain two and work three half double crochet into the same chain to space. One, 
two and three and the last box stitch of row three slip stitch into the chain two space at the left of the last box stitch of the previous row chain two and work three half double crochet stitches into that same chain two space two and three now for row three we have three box stitches and three pixels in our graph continue to increase this way each new row you will have one box stitch more as in the previous row so for row four you will have four box stitches for row five five box stitches and so on i will meet you at the first row with color change row nine i have just finished row eight worked from top to bottom on the right side now we are starting row nine the first row with color changes worked from bottom to top according to the graph we work two box stitches in the main color then change colors to gray so start the row with an increase chain five and work the first box stitch with half double crochet into the third into the fourth and into the fifth chain from the hook now flip the piece and work the second box stitch in main color slip stitch into the chain two space chain two and work three half double crochet one two and at the last half double crochet we will change colors so start the half double crochet but do not finish it when you have three loops on the hook pick the new color yarn the gray one and you will finish the last half double crochet of, of this box stitch with the new color i will place the yarn strands to the front because i am working on the wrong side and I will finish the stitch with a new color. Tighten all up. Now you will work one, two, three box stitches with the gray and you will change colors again. So I'm working the first box stitch in gray. This is the wrong side. So I am working the color changes a bit different on the wrong side. I will place the yarn strand to the front and I will slip stitch into this chain to space inserting the hook from back to front now with the yarn under I will slip stitch and pull it through tighten all up now chain two and work the box stitch in gray I'm working over the yarn end three half double crochet stitches with gray three so this is the first box stitch with gray we need two more with color change at the last one so again place the yarn strand to the front insert the hook from back to front yarn under pull it through tighten up chain two work over the yarn strand three half double crochet one two and three now the last box stitch with gray slip stitch into the next one the same way with yarn under chain two and work three half double crochet with color change at the last one one two and at the third one do not finish it hold it there now take another strand of blue yarn i will finish the stitch with blue place again all the strands to the front 
and finish the stitch. Tighten all up. Now make the next one, two, three, four stitches, box stitches with blue. So again, place the yarn straight to the front and insert it from back to front and work over the yarn strand, three half double crochet stitches. Now continue to work the next box stitches, three box stitches in main color. And this is row nine, worked on the wrong side, from bottom to top. And now we are working row 10 from top to bottom. You have four box stitches in main color, then you will change colors to gray, and then you will attach a new color. So start row 10 with an increase, chain 5 again, work the first box stitch into the third, fourth and fifth chain from the hook, have double crochets, flip the piece and continue to work three box stitches more in main color and the last box stitch the fourth one in main color slip stitch chain two work three half double crochet with color change at the last one three so have three loops on the hook you will finish the stitch with gray so pick the gray yarn and at the back bring it all the way up and finish the stitch with gray. Now tighten it all up. The gray strand comes right this way and now you will work the next box stitch with gray. You will insert the hook from front to back this time and you will work around the gray strand at the back so slip stitch with gray, tighten all up, chain two and work three half double crochet working over the yarn strand, the gray one, one, two and three. So this was the gray one. Oh, we need to change colors again. One and two will be worked with new color. So we unravel the last half double crochet. You will change colors again. Having three loops on the hook, pick new color yarn and finish the last half double crochet with a new color with buff. Tighten it all up and now work two box stitches with this buff. So again, I will insert the hook from front to back and work around the yarn tail, slip stitch tight, then chain two and work three half double crochet working around the yarn tail. One, two and three. Now work another one with color change at the last half double crochet and you will need a second gray bobbin in the second box stitch in buff, slip stitch into the next chain to space, a bit tighter, chain two, work three half double crochet. At the last one, change colors. So pick the second bobbin with gray and finish the stitch with gray. Tighten all up. Place the yarn strand to the back. 
slip stitch into the next chain two space tight chain two and work one back stitch with gray one two we have two box stitches with gray so I'm finishing this one with gray and start the next one with gray with color change at the last stitch so slip stitch chain two three half double crochet with color change at the last one now pick the blue we have it right here Let's make something else. We will pick it right here. So I will unravel these stitches and work over this blue yarn strand. So I'm slip stitching around the blue yarn strand and I will work over it. So chain two and work three half double crochet holding the yarn strand working around it one two and at the third one I will place the gray to the back and I will pick the blue one and finish with blue tighten all up and now I don't have such long strands I'm working the last box stitch in main color slip stitch into the chain to space of the next box stitch tight chain two and work three half double crochet one two and three and this is what we have for row 10 this is the right side The color changes look pretty on this side and this is the wrong side. Now we are working row 11. I'm starting row 11 in main color and I will need to change colors at the last half double crochet, change to gray again. So I will chain 5 work half double crochet into the third fourth and fifth chain from the hook one two and three do not finish the last one we are on the wrong side so we are placing the yarn strands to the front now i need to pick the gray one and finish the stitch with gray tighten a bit up now on the wrong side the same as before hold the yarn strand at the front insert the hook from back to front yarn under and slip stitch again this way now chain two and work around this yarn strand three half double crochet one two and three we need to make another color change so we unravel the last half double crochet until we have three loops on the hook place the yarn strand this way now I'm picking this one the buff I will bring it all the way through and finish the stitch with buff control how long the yarn strand is so this way now I will insert the hook again from back to front yarn under 
and pull it through chain two and work over this yarn strand I need one two three four box stitches with buff so I'm working the first one over the yarn strand three half double crochet now into the next chain to space again place the yarn strand to the front insert the hook from back to front yarn under and pull it through chain two and work over this yarn strand around it three half double crochet the second one the third one I have the same color so I can insert the hook as usual from front to back so only when you have different colors when you work over a different color as your strand in work only then you will have to insert the hook from back to front and make the slip stitch this way I'm working three half double crochets for the third box stitch in buff I need one more and I will need to change colors at the last half double crochet so slip stitch into the next one chain two three half double crochet with color change at the last one on the last one I'm finishing with grey this way so all the yarn strands are at the front of the work we are on the wrong side now slip stitch from back to front into the next chain to space chain two and work one box stitch with grey with color change at the last half double crochet the so one two and at the third one do not finish place the yarn strand to the front and finish it with blue Now work one, two, three, four box stitches in main color. I will insert it this way from back to front again. Chain two and work three half double crochet stitches into the chain two space. Now continue to make the next three box stitches in main color and this was row 11 worked on the wrong side for row 12 you will work an increase at the beginning of the row and work one two three four box stitches in main color with color change at the last one so we will work another row I will show you another row one two three four five increase at the beginning of the row have double crochet into the third, fourth and fifth chain from the hook flip to work on the right side so continue to work the next three box stitches in main color three and we need one more with color change We have double crochet at the last one you will change to grey again work I'm changing colors on the right side so I will place all the yarn strands to the back picking grey 
and finish the stitch with grey. Tighten it up, work around this one again, so slip stitch into the chain to space and work around the grey strand, chain 2, work 3 half double crochet but with color change to buff. 1, 2, and now at the third one we will change colors to buff. So 3 half double crochet, 3 loops on the hook I mean. So pick buff and finish the stitch with buff. I will tighten all up. Now work one, two, three box stitches with buff. So I'm inserting the hook from front to back and around the other strand. Slip stitch, chain two, and three half double crochet. So one, we need two more. the second one and the third one with color change. So we need to pick another color, we need white, chain 2, work 3 half double crochet with color change at the last one. So I have 3 loops on the hook, I will pick white And finish the stitch with white. Tighten all up. Now we need to do two box stitches with white and you will need another bobbin for the color change in buff again. I'm working two box stitches with white slip stitch, chain 2, work around the yarn tail, the white one, 3 half double crochet, slip stitch into the next chain 2 space, chain 2, work 3 half double crochet, and at the last one, change to buff. One, two, and three. So I will pick another bobbin with buff. So for each color section, you will need a new bobbin so that you don't have long strands at the back. Place the yarn strand to the back, tighten all up and slip stitch into the next chain to space. Tighten it up, chain two and work this box stitch with color change at the last half double crochet. So I will bring the blue yarn strand up and I will work over it. I will make it right here before slip stitching. Now chain two and I will work around both. One, two, 
and at the third one I place this one to the back and pick the blue one. I have it already here to finish the stitch in main color. Don't forget to tighten all up. So we are working the last box stitch of this row in main color. Slip stitch into the last chain to space of the last box stitch of previous row. Chain two and work three half double crochet in main color. And this is row 12. Continue this way, changing colors according to the graph and increasing each row one box stitch. And I will meet you at row 26, that will be the first decrease row. I have just finished row 25. This was the last increase row, the corner row, worked from bottom to top on the wrong side. I have also placed some stitch markers at each end of the row, so I know I will not make any increases from now on. Starting with row 26, you will work decreases. Each row you will have one uh, box stitch less as in the previous row. We are starting the first decrease row, row 26. We are working from top to bottom. To make the decrease do not chain 5 anymore. You will need to slip stitch to the top of these stitches to reach to the chain 2 space. So this is the decrease slip stitch to the first half double crochet to the next one and then into the chain two space a decrease made now i'm working the first box stitch of row 26 with chain two and three half double crochet into the chain two space and this is the first box stitch of row 26 now they are at the same height with row 25. So continue to work row 26 with color changes according to the graph and I will meet you at the end of the row to make the decrease at the end of the row. I'm at the end of the row 26. I need to make the decrease now. I have made four box stitches in main color according to my graph. Now I will need to make the decrease at the end of the row. To make the decrease at the end of the row, you will just need to slip stitch into the chain to space of the last box stitch from previous row. So slip stitch and do not work another box stitch into the chain to space. So this is the decrease made at the end of the row with just one slip stitch into the chain to space. Now start row 27, turn the work and start decreasing on the edge with slip stitching to reach to the chain to space. So I will work slip stitch to all these stitches, two and the third one into the chain to space and start row 27 with chain two and work a box stitch with three half double crochet stitches. And this is the first box stitch of row 27. So you will continue this way. So turn the work and work all across the row. At the end of the row, you will not work another box stitch into the chain to space. You will just need to slip stitch and make the decrease at the end of the row. So from now on, you will work this way, always decreasing at the beginning and at the end of the rows, following the graph with the color changes. Each row you will have one box stitch less as in the previous row. So work on the diagonal and at the last row you will have one box stitch left. I'm working the last row. I will slip stitch to reach to the chain to space. One slip stitch, two 
and the third one into the chain two space. Now chain two and work three half double crochet. One, two, and three. To finish, you will slip stitch into this chain two space of the last box stitch from previous row. And the square is complete. This was made on the wrong side the last row. Now turn to the right side and I will slip stitch to reach to this chain to space. So I will slip stitch one. I'll bring it to the front and now slip stitch one, two and the third one into this chain to space. So you will cut the yarn, I have already cut it and finish off. My bunny square is complete. I love it, so cute. Now all I have to do is to weave in the ends. There are quite a lot of ends to weave in. At the same time I will cover the small imperfections, the interrupted lines in between the blocks. Thread the yarn needle with the yarn tail. Now I am covering this small little space in between the blocks. So make a few stitches just to have it covered. One more. So this way. And now they are connected. So continue this way for all the small imperfections. And now all the ends are waved in. The both sides of the work are pretty. I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial, thank you so much for watching.